Hi everyone, I'm Chris and welcome back to the lecture on logistic regression of this machine learning course. This section is about why to choose cross entropy for logistic regression instead of mean squared error. Logistic regression fits an S-shaped curve, the logistic function, to data. On the right side, an example for the logistic function is sketched in blue. Further, data points are displayed in light blue. The logistic function, sigma of x, can be adjusted to this data. Therefore, it has two parameters in the one-dimensional situation sketched, beta 0 and beta 1. Beta 0 adjusts the position on the x-axis and beta 1 varies the slope. The optimal logistic function for the data with the best parameters can be found by minimizing a cost function. So why not just use mean squared error instead of cross entropy? We can substitute the logistic function sigma into the mean squared error cost function. Then the cost function takes the deviations of model and data into account, on the right side, displayed by the green lines. For mean squared error, we use the square of these distances. The logistic function is adjusted, which gives different values for the cost function. For an optimal solution, the mean squared error cost function value is minimal. Minimizing mean squared error gives an optimal solution. So why not use it? The question is, how easy is it to find this solution? Let's reconsider linear regression as sketched on the left. The mean squared error cost function is convex for linear regression as shown in the section about cost functions for regression. A convex cost function is sketched on the right. For a convex cost function, the first order derivative is a monotonic function. So its second order derivative is greater than or equal to zero. For logistic regression, the situation is different. Mean squared error for logistic regression is not convex. As discussed in the section about cost functions, local minima can occur. This is a problem for a gradient-based minimization. For example, the minimization might stuck in such a local minimum. In the following, we will prove that mean squared error is not convex for logistic regression. But we will also prove that cross entropy is a convex cost function for logistic regression. First, we need to substitute the logistic function sigma into the mean squared error cost function h. We use the logistic regression model with a single independent variable x to simplify the notation. The cost function sums the square differences of model and data. Thereby, the true target value of the ith data point is yi. The logistic function at the corresponding location xi is denoted by sigma i. So the logistic regression model sigma of xi is sigma i, which is equal to 1 over 1 plus exponential function of minus beta 0 minus beta 1 times xi. The logistic function is substituted into the mean squared error cost function. The cost function with its model predictions is 1 over capital N times the sum over i, the data points, of yi minus sigma i squared. 
we need to calculate the first order derivative of the cost function. Here we consider a single summand of the summation over all data points. If the second order derivative is positive for a single summand, then the summation of such positive contributions is positive as well. The derivative of yi minus sigma i squared with respect to one of the beta parameters gives minus 2 times yi minus sigma i times the derivative of sigma i with respect to beta. The last factor and the minus sign are from the derivative of the inside. The logistic function depends on the linear model Lm and the linear model depends on the beta parameters. Then the last factor can be split according to chain rule. The logistic function depends on the linear model and the linear model depends on the beta parameters. First, we calculate the derivative of the logistic function with respect to the linear model. The logistic function can be written as 1 plus exponential function of the negative linear model to the power of minus 1. This representation simplifies calculating the derivative. Thereby, the exponent is subtracted by 1. This gives the denominator 1 plus exponential function of the negative linear model squared and a minus sign. The derivative of the inside is the derivative of the exponential function. So the numerator is just this exponential function. The minus sign of the derivative of the exponential function cancels out with the minus sign from the negative exponent. Next, this result is split into two factors by splitting the denominator into its factors. Further, in the term on the right in the brackets, in the numerator we add and subtract a 1, here marked in blue. This gives us the chance to split this factor into two summands. The first takes the plus 1 and the exponential function of the numerator. Here numerator and denominator cancel each other, which gives 1. The remaining minus 1 of the numerator gives minus 1 over 1 plus exponential function of the negative linear model. When we take a look on the definition of the logistic function, we can substitute the first factor by the logistic function. Further, the term in the brackets is 1 minus logistic function. So, the derivative of the logistic function with respect to the linear model is the logistic function times 1 minus logistic function. Now, we can use this result shown on the right side to substitute this derivative in the calculation of the derivative of the cost function. This results in minus 2 times y minus sigma times sigma times 1 minus sigma times the derivative of the linear model with respect to beta. Next, we can multiply this out, starting with the factors on the left, y minus sigma times sigma. These factors lead to y times sigma minus sigma squared. Next we multiply out the factors in the brackets. We have y times sigma 
minus y times sigma squared minus sigma squared plus sigma to the power of 3. So we calculated the first order derivative with respect to beta of a summand of the mean squared error using the logistic function. Now let us calculate the second order derivative. The linear model depends linearly on the parameters beta. So a second order derivative of the linear model is zero. Thus, to calculate the second order derivative, we can focus on the derivative of the factor in the middle. Note that y is just a fixed number, it is either 0 or 1. So the derivative acts only on the logistic functions. The derivative of the squared logistic function gives 2 times the logistic function times the derivative of the logistic function with respect to beta. It is similar for the derivative of the logistic function to the power of 3, which is 3 times sigma squared times the derivative of sigma with respect to beta. All summands have a factor derivative of the logistic function. This is factored out. The resulting derivative is displayed on the bottom. We can replace the derivative of the logistic function with respect to beta by the expression derived previously. This gives the result on the right side. So far, we calculated the second order derivative of a summand of mean squared error cost function using the logistic function. The latter part of this expression, underlined in blue, is abbreviated as g. The factor g is always greater than or equal to zero. This is because the logistic function has a value range of zero to one. Thus, the logistic function, as well as one minus logistic function, are always positive. The same is true for a squared term. The true value for y is either 0 or 1. First, let us consider y is equal to 0. The expression above simplifies to minus 2 times minus 2 sigma plus 3 sigma squared and this times g. We can factor out a sigma. The factors outside the brackets are positive. However, inside the brackets the expression changes its sign in the value range of the logistic function. For example, it is minus 2 for sigma is equal to 0 and it is plus 1 for sigma is equal to 1. We can calculate similar things for y is equal to 1. But in any case, we cannot ensure that the second order derivative of the mean squared error is always positive. Consequently, mean squared error 
is not convex as cost function for logistic regression. This is the reason why we should find a more suitable, so convex cost function for logistic regression. We introduced the cross entropy as cost function for logistic regression. But is this function convex? To answer the question, we need to calculate the second order derivative with respect to beta. Again, we consider only one of the summands. h equals minus y times the logarithm of sigma minus 1 minus y times the logarithm of 1 minus sigma. The first order derivative of this expression needs only to calculate the derivatives of the logarithm because y is just a fixed number. The derivative of the logarithm of the logistic function is according to chain rule 1 over logistic function times the derivative of the logistic function with respect to beta. Similarly, the derivative of the logarithm of 1 minus sigma is calculated. The derivative of the logistic function can be replaced by the expression with sigma times 1 minus sigma. So for the first of the two terms, the 1 over sigma factor cancels with sigma and 1 minus sigma remains. In the second term, the 1 minus sigma factors cancel each other out and sigma remains. Multiplying out the factors gives minus y plus y times sigma plus sigma minus y times sigma. The terms y times sigma cancels each other out. We have sigma minus y times the derivative of the linear model with respect to beta. Next, the second order derivative with respect to beta is calculated. The derivative of the constant y is zero and only the derivative of the logistic function has a non-zero contribution. Here, again, we use our expression of the derivative of sigma with respect to beta. So the second order derivative of cross entropy is sigma times 1 minus sigma times the derivative of the linear model with respect to beta squared. The expression is, as discussed previously, always positive in the value range of the logistic function. Independent of the values of y and sigma, the second order derivative is always positive. So the second order derivative of the cost function is a sum of positive contributions. This is why cross entropy is convex as cost function for logistic regression. We should prefer cross entropy over mean squared error for logistic regression, especially if a gradient based minimization is used. This result can be transferred to more complex algorithms as well. Section finished. If you like this video, Please click the like button and consider to subscribe this channel. If you have any comments or questions, please leave a comment down below. And thanks again for listening. See you in the next section.